everyone, welcome to this week's home workout video. All right, we're going to start with a bit of a warm up, but first, just a couple of reminders. All right, make sure you've got something nice and soft underneath your feet. This is really important to protect our ankles and our knees, making sure we're not doing any injuries to ourselves. Okay, you can see I've got my nice soft gym mat. If you don't have a gym mat like this at home, you can just put some runners on your feet and that will help to protect your knees and ankles. All right, the second thing is make sure you've got mum or dad or another grown up in your house watching you do your gymnastics training, making sure you're being nice and safe. All right, so everyone go and check that they've got an adult ready to watch them and maybe even help them or they could join in if they want to. All right, once you've got your adult and you've got your nice soft area set up, we are ready to get started on our warm up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do 20 seconds of hard work for a few different exercises, then we're going to get 20 seconds of rest, okay? We're going to do the same exercises two times in a row. Okay, so our exercises are going to be running with our knees up, hopping on our left foot, hopping on our right foot. We're going to do our spring steps, which is like running while you're kicking your feet out in front of you. And the fifth one is going to be our frog jump. So stretching down to the floor and jumping up nice and high. Okay, so we've got five activities. We're doing each one for 20 seconds, then 20 seconds rest. Then we're going to do it all again, okay? So everyone get nice and ready. Ready to start in three, two, one, and go. Knees up running. That's it, lifting those knees nice and high. Good, keep it up. We've only got five seconds left, then we're moving straight into our hopping. And let's go. That's it, remember to point your toes. Okay, ready to swap over. And other leg. Straight away, that's it. We're nearly done, keep it up, keep going. Got five more seconds and we're doing our spring steps. All right, and spring steps, off you go. That's it, kicking those toes up. Pointing your toes as you lift them off the floor. All right, getting ready for frog jumps. This is the last one. Then we get a rest. And here we go. Resting. Give your legs a little bit of a shake out. All right, getting ready to do those same five exercises one more time through. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. That's it, keep it going. Nearly finished. And hopping. That's it, keep it up. Remember to keep those toes pointed. And swap feet. Doing a really good job, we're nearly done. That's it, keep going, keep going. Ready for our spring steps next. And go. Doing a really good job everyone, keep it up.
All right, ready for our last one. Let's have frog jumps. And go. Last one, everyone. Keep going. Push yourself really hard. That's it. Come on, we've only got five seconds left. And stop. Whew. Good warm up, everyone. All right, next up, we're going to do some stretching. All right, so we're going to do our stretching next. Um, what we're going to do is a little bit of a stretching routine, okay? So just try to follow along with what I'm doing. I'm going to say what exercise or what stretch is next. Um, you might call it something different to what I call it. So if you're unsure, just have a look at what I'm doing and try to follow along. I'm going to be doing counts of eight for each stretch. Okay, so just follow along with my counting and we'll do our little stretching routine. Starting off with arm circles forwards and backwards, then arms swinging to the side and up and down. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Stretch to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down to your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pipe stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Seated pike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, next up we're going to do our lunges. Okay, so we're going to do forwards lunge, back lunge, and splits. Each leg, then we'll do a frog split and middle splits. And that'll be the end of our stretching. Okay, so eight counts of each one again. So forward stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, changing legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, last one is froggy and middle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good work everyone. We're ready to get into our workout now. Now that we're feeling nice and warmed up, we're ready to get into our activities for today. All right, now today's workout is all about jumping, landing, and balancing. Okay, so just have a look underneath your feet. Double check that you've got something nice and soft to land on. If you don't have a gymnastics mat or something soft like a mattress to be landing on, then I would really like it if you could put your runners on and head outside onto some nice soft grass. Okay, just double check that there are no potholes in the grass. 
we want to be protecting our knees and ankles as much as we can when we're doing these sort of workout videos, okay? So if you've got something nice and soft, then we're ready to get started. All right, first off, I'd like everyone to practice their motorbike thing. All right, now I know that you girls know how to do a proper landing. All right, so we just need to be making sure we're remembering all of our key coaching points, like having bent knees, our feet a little bit apart, we want to have our bottom sitting back a little bit with a nice straight back and our arms out in front of the balance. Okay? So just make sure you really remember this nice landing shape so that we're protecting our joints when we do our jumps, okay? To start off with, I want you to do five straight jumps, okay? I want these all to be separate straight jumps, so jump and land each one, not connected, okay? So just going to swing. And just five of these. All right, just like that, awesome. Next up, I would like you to do five cup jumps, okay? Remember to try to get your knees as high up to your chest as you can. Good, so just going five times to our nice cup jumps. Remember to jump really high, as high as you can off the floor. And we want to be making sure as your toes lift off the floor, you're pointing your feet straight away as soon as they come off the ground, okay? It's a little bit trickier if you're wearing runners, but if you're not, if you've got a nice soft landing mat, really focus on pointing those toes, okay? We don't want to get back into the gym and have floppy feet. All right, once you've done your five tough jumps, we're going to do five split jumps. Okay, remember when we do our split jump, we want to swing, we want to jump, split, and our arms going to represent. Okay, and then we're going to come back for our landing. All right. So when we do our split jump, we want your arms looking like this: swing, up, split, and land. Okay, making sure we're jumping nice and high and splitting our legs nice and quickly. Alright, so have a go at five of those. Good, making sure you're pushing your legs really straight in your jumps and you're pointing your toes really hard off the floor. Alright, if you can use your toes to help you to jump and you'll be able to jump higher, we need more time to get into a nice split shape in the air. Alright, once you've done your five split jumps, we're going to do five scissors. Okay, so remember for us to go, we don't want to be dropping our chest forward. Okay? You want your front leg lower and your back leg kicking up really high. Alright, if you drop your chest though, then you're probably going to face it. And we really don't want to be doing that. So we're going to do our nice arm swing. And landing. Okay, so you probably noticed that my arms still do same thing that they did in the split jump for the scissor. Alright? So watching carefully, we swing, up split, and landing. Alright? So landing's a little bit different for our scissor, it's a step out landing, but we still need to be making sure our knees are nice and bent so that we're absorbing the landing into our knees rather than jolting with a straight leg. Okay? So have five or six turns at your scissor. All right, when you're ready, we're going to do our jump half turn. All right, so remember to spot something on the wall behind you. And you can swing your arms across your body for the jump for these ones. So we're going to swing across, spot the wall, and a nice solid landing shape, okay? So have about five turns of the jump half turn. And then jumping really powerfully off the floor. 
All right, that's going to be important for our next one, our jump full turn. All right, so remember we want to build up the power in our legs and not interrupting that power by sticking our bottom out with straight legs in the middle. All right, remember for your full turn, you want to pick something on the wall in front of you, in spot, so you've got something to look at when you get back around, okay? Remember you can do your arm swing in front of you and up. All right, we want to be making sure we're reaching tall for our jump full turn. All right, it's only a full turn, so you do not need to wrap your arms. All right, you can just have your arms up with your ears like a normal straight jump or a jump half turn. All right, so swing your arms, jump, and landing. Okay, make sure you remember to spot something on the wall so that you know when to stop turning. All right, check that you've got a nice solid surface. Something nice and soft, and have a few goes at this. Good. Okay. Remember to spot the wall so that you don't fall over. If you do fall over, that's okay. Just get back up and have another turn. All right. I'd like you to do five, but land in your motorbike shape. Okay. So if you stumble or fall over, don't count that one. Have another go at it. All right. So once you've done your five. Then we're going to do a couple of long jumps, okay? Now long jumps are important in gymnastics, all right? Because sometimes if you over or under rotate a tumble, or if you do a really powerful bolt and you miss your landing, you might need to be able to control a long jump, okay? So if you practice long jumps, and we can get used to landing in that motorbike shape at the end of a really long bound. So we're just going to swing, reach, and land. All right? So I'm just using the length of my gym mat as a guide as to how far I'm jumping. All right, if you've got more space, then you can try and jump even further. All right, once again, you want to make sure we're not doing this double bounce. Okay, you want to swing and push. Nice and powerfully through the air. All right, once you've had about five or six turns at the long jump, we're going to move on to our balances. Okay, so balance is really important, particularly for our full turns on beam and floor. Okay, but it's really important in every aspect of gymnastics. Okay, so we're going to start off with a pate hold. You're going to have arms up like we're doing a full set and you're going to bring your toe to your knee. Alright, make sure you're not resting your foot on your leg like this. This is super lazy, okay? We don't want to be lazy gymnasts. We want to be fully tall, pulling our knee nice and tall, pointing our toe next to our foot, reaching your arms up really high, like there's a piece of string coming all the way through your body up to the roof. Alright, good. I want you to hold on each leg a couple of times for about 10 seconds, all right? So just have a go, bring your toe up to your knee, make sure it's not down here near your calf muscle, you want to go all the way touching your knee, all right? Try not to slouch, pull your body up really high, really tall, all the way to the roof. All right, so make sure you've done 10 seconds a couple of times on both legs. All right, once you've done that, for the next one you can have your arms down. So we're going to do our passe shape with our arms down. And you're going to do 10 half raises on each foot. Okay, try not to need to hold on to anything. All right, we're trying to balance without having to hold on to a chair or the wall or anything. Okay, remember you need to do both legs for this one as well. 10 half raises on each leg. As you're doing your calf raises, it's really easy to let your foot slip down your leg with each one. Okay, you need to really concentrate on holding that toe to your support knee. Alright, don't let it through or drop. Alright, once we've done that one, we're going to do an L support. Okay, so you might have been working on yourself or you might have seen some of the senior girls working on an L turn the full turn but with your foot up here all right so we're just going to practice holding that position okay 
variation. Start with one leg pointing in front, arms up like you're doing a full stand, and see if you can lift your leg and hold it straight out in front of you. If it droops a little bit, that's okay, but just try and pull it up as high as you can get it. Okay? So try to hold between five and ten seconds on each leg. in your quad muscles. Once you've had a couple of turns on each leg, then you can have a go at Ui. From your turn start, up onto your toe, and then coming down again. See how long you can hold this L shape up on your toe. All right? Have a go on both legs, because the L turn is a progression for a Y turn. You might have seen some of the senior girls maybe working on a Y turn where they're bringing their leg all the way up into a split shape. All right? So sometimes your good leg splits might be the wrong leg to do that turn on your good turning leg. So it's important that we practice turning on both legs. All right, so have a few goes from your prep to here and see how long you can hold it up on your toes. Okay, excellent. Next one we're going to do is just a few back kicks. All right, so you're going to stand with your arms out, your back leg pointed. We're just going to do 10 on each leg. All right, this is preparing our hip muscles and our hamstring muscles, ready for some arabesque holds. Okay, as you do your kicks, remember you should be leading with the back of your knee. Okay, so lifting from your hamstring. Not with a bent leg lifting from your heel. Okay? So we want to be here and kicking up nice and powerful. You try not to dip your chest too much. Okay? You don't need to lift your legs super high. We just want to be waking up those glute muscles and the hamstring muscles, ready to do some arabesque holds. Okay? So once you've done your 10 kicks on each leg, we're ready to try the arabesque. Alright, so for this one we're going to have our arms in a nice present shape. Start with your feet together, step forward, and then you can dip your chest to your arabesque hold. Alright, making sure both your support leg and your free leg are really straight with locked knees. Okay, we want pointed toes and our free leg behind us as well. Okay, once again, make sure you have a turn on both feet. Lock your knees. Please focus on something on the wall. And hold me. So ideally for this one, you want to be nice and flat like a tabletop from your fingertips all the way to your pointed toes at the end, okay? An easy way to help you to feel that shape is to think about stretching your arms and feet right away from each other. Try to touch the wall on each side. All right, good. So it's stretching really long. All right, have a few turns on each leg. You might find one leg a bit easier than the other leg, but that's okay. Still important to practice both legs. All right, the last one we're going to do, we're going to have a go at a Y balance, okay? So you might not have seen this one before. Usually, mag gymnasts do this one on floor. Okay, you're going to have one arm out to the side. You're going to grab the inside of your foot and see if you can straighten your leg out to the side like this. All right, so try having a go at that, holding for about five seconds. If you're really good, you can hold it for a bit longer. And also remember to have a turn on both legs. All right, so holding nice and strong. Good. All right, once you've had a few turns at that one, you can finish up there. Uh, but otherwise, we've finished our workout for today.